This is Bottles. I'm Maury, and we're gonna examine this small th he comes here. What the hell is this? Uh, my mouth burns. This looks like a cell phone. Scientific analysis would suggest this belonged to the victim. From what? My hypothesis. Look, it, 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 that's not... It, I took you, a guess. You're, you're throwing... I can't it, think of anyone else it would belong to. Sure. Like, the killer, maybe? But, no, but I'm saying, like, what's so scientific? Like, how could you... Through observation and analysis, I say... You, hypoth you hypothesize that this belongs to... I theorize. The the same, that's the same thing. <laughs> right, let's check it out. The game is playing itself. Alright, it's time to examine. Are you gonna let me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this phone is made of phone. It is a clam phone. Ah! Hmm. The display is still on the redial button. I miss flip phones. Oh god. Redial? A relic of the forgotten age. Um, Mr. Wright? Most phones keep a record of all the calls you've made and received. Really? <laughs> it's called a call log. You just press the blue button to dial the last number you called. Convenient, isn't it? I'm surprised you didn't know about it. Sorry to disappoint you, but even I don't know about things like redial. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. It's just, you never know with people from your generation. Whatever. Here, let's check out this phone. You know what's weird that I just thought about? Hmm. The last time that I played this game and played this scene, I did not have the thought of like, oh, look at that old phone. I just had a thought of, look at that cell phone. Yeah. Isn't that kind of strange? Mm-hmm. Oh, ha how technology has evolved. I think we have to hit the blue button. Now, I wonder who the owner of this phone called last. Edgeworth. Note to self. A defense attorney doesn't think first, he just pushes the button. Did, okay. Note to self. Incredibly self-conscious. I miss Maya. Why does it sound familiar? It's a Steel Samurai theme. Is it? Ba -da -da -da. Yeah, you're right. Hey, that song, I know that. Hey, what's going on over there? None of your business. Ah, oh, sorry. I see you, partner. You pressed redial on that there phone, didn't you? Uh, well, yeah. Whose phone is this, anyway? It was on the ground over there. Whose is it? That belongs to the Chief Prospector, Sky. What? It's my sister's? She apparently dropped it when she was taken into custody right after the crime. Look, the last call was made right when the murder occurred. Looks like she was fixing to call someone. Except she only spoke for a few seconds according to this. Who did she call? Ghostbusters. No idea. Sorry, partner. <clears throat> now I got a question for you, partner. I heard a phone ring just now. One of those newfangled ringtones. Oh, that? Uh, I'm sorry, that was my phone. <laughs> what? Your phone? Yeah, it's kind of strange, but someone called me right as we picked up the other phone. Wrong number. I hope you're not lying. They shoot you for that in Texas, partner. They... I guess they kind of could shoot you for that here. There is open carry in Texas. Uh-oh. I haven't cited the wrath of the Lone Star Patrolman. So the last person she called... Was me? Was us? She was trying to get in contact with Maya Fey. But it's our... Or Mia phone. Fey. Yeah. I don't know. Do we just have Mia's phone? Maybe? Um... Okay. But okay. But okay. 
Uh, I guess we looked at every. Oh, hang on. Last call was made at 518, the day of the murder. Press the button again. Press it again. What if he finds out? What if he. What if he. You have to turn it, boy. Oh. Come on. There we go. Ah, What's wrong? You look like a you look like I do during finals. Never mind, it's nothing. Alright. I guess I give up. Alright, All right, that's it. I give up, that's it. Uh talk to who? To fucking Marshall. Alright, well I'm not done I'm not done examining the, the scene yet. What is this? Is that a, I guess that's a marker. Yeah. You can in, yeah, investigate that that. That dead old, body. Dang, that dang old crime scene. This rope, is it? Yep, they laid it in front of, They laid it in the outline of the victim's body. <clears throat> nice. So, wait. This, the victim must have died when the killer closed the trunk on him! No. You've got to be the only person I know who would come to that conclusion. Wait, so they found... <laughs> <laughs> they found him slooped up <laughs> on the trunk. <laughs> he wasn't even all the way in yet. Come Wait, on. Then how? Did, did stab and... I figured he was stabbed inside of the trunk. No. Inside of the car. This appears to be the car where the body was found. It looks like the lock on the trunk was busted. I was, like, in the middle of a yawn, but I tried fighting back against it. Gotcha. So you just kind of sounded like, uh, Rex Foster going through puberty. Yeah, kind of. The crime took place in the underground parking lot of the prosecutor's office. The body was found in the trunk of my subordinate's car. Quite a luxury car. It just screams, I have money to burn. Yeah, prosecutors get the big bucks. Note to self, if I ever become a lawyer, go for prosecution. I can't look at this. This looks important. No clues here. Look! A door! No, that's a step door. This must mean something! <laughs> More like an exit. <laughs> I'm not sure that door means anything. No! No! It won't open! A mysterious lock! I fail to see what's mysterious about it. Mr. Wright, you need to learn to enjoy life more. Let's finish our investigation first, shall we? Damn it, she makes me angry, just like Maya. I miss Maya that's not, so that's, much. That's, that's not true. There's nothing to else to really look at. What, is this a marker? I'm assuming that's a marker. It's for, okay. I'm holding it down. There we go. All right, I guess we'll talk to uh, John Marston here. John Marston? No, nah, more like he—he's more like um, what's the other guy's name in that in that group? Javier Escuela. Yeah. So there's no connection between Detective Goodman and my sister. That's correct, but there's a gold mine of evidence against her. <coughs> and the prospector tomorrow is none other than Edgeworth himself. I'm afraid your sister's fate is decided, Vampina. Many condolences. Officer Marshall! We have Vampina? How can you say that? With my mouth. You and my sister! You were... Is there something between this cop and her sister that I don't know about? How scandalous. I apologize, Vampina. Something must have gotten into me. Maybe it's that dry wind that's a blow into the prospector's office. Dry wind or ill will. Someone's up to something here. But who? Suspicions about Mr. Edgeworth have been flying around for nearly two years now. Forged evidence, arranging testimonies, you name it. Yeah, I know. He was unbeatable because he did whatever it took to win. Unbeatable, that is, until we met you. But rumors are just rumors, aren't they? These are prosecutors we're talking about. Evidence is everything to them. If you follow the rumors about Edgeworth to their source, 
you find one person. But they're off limits. Untouchable, you might say. One person? Who? Bambina. It's your sister. Chief Prospector Lana Sky. What? My sister? Edgeworth couldn't rustle all those cattle by himself. Some people load their guns with bullets. Some people load them with deals. What? So you're saying Edgeworth was making deals to win trials? We, we knew this. Where there's gunshots, there's bound to be bullets. That's what the old timers say. There's a big old secret hidden around here somewhere. Everyone knows it. Is that why Detective Gumshoe was taking off the case? Did they target him because he was the closest to Edgeworth? Yep. Well. Um. We can go bother Edgeworth. We can go bother. <laughs> no, we can't. He's not even here. I'm busy. Which gives us a chance to look at his office. Oh, look, he wasn't lying. What? He, w he really likes the Steel Samurai. Oh! I just realized, you yeah. know how he has, like, the tissue on his, uh, on his collar? <laughs> yeah. He has it on his plant as well. Whoa. <laughs> if you look at the, if you look at the whole thing, the plant is just dressed like him. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. He yeah. looks exactly, <laughs> he's just... Like, the, the pot is even red. Yeah. A work dex. Dex? A work desk. It's quite tidy, as one might expect. What a nice desk. Easy to use and easy on the eyes. It, why did I turn into Sonic for a sec? It's po it's polished so high. I can see my own reflection. Wow, chili dogs. Lemon. I heard women. For <laughs> women. Have I ever shown you that video? No. E, put it up on the screen as I show Mori. It's like three seconds. You can continue. I'd prefer not to have to look at myself while I work. What's this? Hey! A chessboard! I'm not too up on my chest, but it looks like glue's in a bit of a tight spot. The Red Knights have surrounded the Blue Pawn. Huh? Those horses are mounted knights. Their swords have really sharp edges. And check out that poor pawn! His head is kinda spiky. Kinda reminds me of you. Yeah, I know, but isn't the point to surround the king? <laughs> You're not a king. Oh, is that supposed to be like, uh, is it supposed to be foreshadowing something? Lemon! <laughs> oh yeah, you showed me that the other day. <laughs> Lemon! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's the same fucking joke as. Hey, Mario! What? Uh, I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> uh, let's go talk to Gumshoe. Talk to him about, um. Yo, what's good? Uh, is there anything else we could actually. We have more evidence that we have not presented to anybody. Yes. Present? Oh, we could present that to maybe Lana? As Probably. a detective, I have to keep my mouth shut on that one. I know better than to go blabbing on about things I don't know about. No, I wouldn't want you to do that either. Good. <laughs> Could you tell me more about the autopsy that... No. No, I can't tell you about that one either. <sighs> Did we talk to him about his little thing? I kind of don't, don't want to. I kind of don't want to. Yeah, he even found as that he, funny. As, <laughs> he, as he's like thinking in his head, just like, oh. Ask me about the blue badger. I will be asking me about the blue badger. I hope he asked me about the blue badger. You know what? Since she's here, I might as well just. Well, Stab she's, her. she's always, she's always here. <laughs> she's always, always with me. Here, see this? Ah! I've noticed that defense attorneys have a tendency to watch, want to show people things. What is this? A behavioral study on lawyers? Yes. I guess. Uh, I guess you're not very helpful. Wait, can we check the phone? Oh yeah, we can. That's how we. Yeah. Yeah, we already checked it before. Well, let's show um, it to 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 yeah. like well, Lena, boy. Le Lena. Lena Del Rey, I know. Lana Del Rey. What? This is horse shit. Blasphemy, I tell you. I want my lawyer. <laughs> I want my prosecutor. 
Maybe we have to present uh, thing pre present it to the the cowboy. The phone. The phone? Yeah. Oh, I guess. Yeah, I guess you're right. Maybe that's what we gotta do. <sighs> I guess. Usually, when it seems like we have nothing to do, it the answer is that we have to present. Did we evidence. ask him about the autopsy? No. I don't think we've really asked him about anything. My sister's cell phone. The last time it was used was 518, right after Goodman was killed. Maybe she was canceling her date for the night. Because she had a date with murder. Why did Lana make that call? All right, compadre. All right, Count yeah, yeah, to yeah. three. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Is there any talking point? No. no. Alright, I guess I'm gonna have to talk to Gumshoe about the, uh, uh mistake yeah. he made. <laughs> <laughs> Literally the only people that we're able to talk to right now are Gumshoe and Marshall. Mm -hmm. uh, no. no I don't this is a thing you made! You can, you're safe to talk about this! I don't wanna talk about it. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, it would have to be. We have to. Sh there's something we have to show. No, this, there's this probably thing. something we missed. Oh, something that we're like investigating for. Yeah, we probably missed something that we have to touch. Okay. But uh, let me just try one more thing. I'm not sure if we talked to him about this. What's that? Some sort of police passport? This is Detective Goodman's ID card, strangely enough. We found it at a good blah, 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 blah. we found it a good distance away from the crime scene. Good distance in this rat hole. If you want to get distance, get yourself to Texas. 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 This is a tiny little crime scene in a tiny little town with tiny little weapons. What difference does a few yards make, Compile Dre? Note to self: if you encounter suspicious evidence, think of Texas. There's no better way to study than to hang out with the pros. I wouldn't call him a pro. Uh, maybe there's something behind him that he's just kind of trying is to. Is this this him. isn't something? What about the phone? Let me look at the phone. This phone? Yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. There's a phone here. Here, a phone. Let's see if it works. Hey, don't touch stuff. We don't need to be touching. I can't hear anything. My ears! No, my ears! Maybe it's due to barometric pressure. What is she babbling about? Hey! What did, what did you just say? See? You can hear just fine. That phone's broken. Okay. There's gotta be something else I'm missing here. Maybe check another part of the car? Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's just another marker. You can you can click and drag too. Drag? What do you mean? You can do that. Oh. Oh, okay. So let me know. Maybe the A. Why? I don't know. A block. This area is reserved for prosecutors. Defense attorneys are relegated to B block. I dreamed of the day when I'll be able to park my car here. I'll go over to B block to buy my hamburgers from you, Mister Wright. Because you won't be a lawyer anymore, because you suck! I'm not planning on giving up on my job that soon. That was a very weird was, and also rude joke. Yeah, that was just really mean. You know what? I'm, just, I'm gonna... I, I quit. I quit. <laughs> Fuck your sister. Yes, please. Detention centers. Huh. Hello? Fuck. I am a little lost. Maybe we fucked something up. Maybe no, we are supposed to actually show her shit. I say let's show Marshall everything we have, even if it seems weird and useless. And That's then we what can, I suspect that if, we've already done. Let's just check. Uh, towards yes, we, 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 we talked about this before. Okay, 
what about, yeah, the knife? Or a compadre? Nope. No, stop it. Pretty sure we also uh, spoke to him about yeah, this. Yeah, we as well. did. Nah, he's a cat to three with that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we talked to her about this. Yeah, about this. Yeah, we talked about this as well. Okay, so we talked with him about everything. Maybe check that other oil drum? No drum will teach. Water, yeah, we did. It's the same. What about that little mini computer over there? I tried that before. It's it's not important. It's not important apparently. Okay. All right. Maybe we're supposed to go here and detect something else in the room. We also didn't check this ladder to see what they would say about it. Whoa! These are all case files. That's not what I was looking at, but okay. They're stacked up to the ceiling. There's even a ladder. With them already packed in so tight like that, what's he going to do when he gets new case files? Splendid, Mr. Wright. What an unusual observation. I think that was a compliment. I don't want to look at the stick samurai. It worked. That's not what I'm looking at. That's... No. No. That's not... No. Wow! What an amazing bouquet! No kidding. Hey, there's a little card on it. Back from the dead. Wendy. Oh. Wendy, I've heard that name somewhere before. And here beside it, a giant steel samurai! Wow, I want one! Huh? There's something written on the bottom of his foot. Between a rock and a hard place, Wendy. Is the prosecutor in this office named Wendy? Um, no, I don't think so. What? Edgeworth is getting fucking gifts from Wendy. Here you go, sunny boy. Mm -hmm. I'd like to get between your cock and a hard place. <laughs> the only thing I can think of is one of two possibilities. Either we didn't investigate everything thoroughly, or we have to talk to Gumshoe. Or maybe even examine the, the, the blue badger real quick. Because I noticed something before that was kind of off. That it has like a band-aid on its left horn. Ah. Uh, I was wondering about that. What? A dancing blue badger? It's my masterpiece! Ah, it's the same. Like go in. No. Busy. Just imagine right now behind those doors, a police drama in action. Somehow the thought fails to excite me. Just present everything. I already said I presented that. The knife. I presented the knife, but I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. Can't talk about this. Yeah, can't talk about this. You oh, talked yeah. about this with us. So then we must have missed something in the investigation. Then. Oops. Oh, well, we you missed the emulator window. I guess we missed something in the investigation that we still have to look at. Uh. The vent up there. No. You think the killer vented? He, he might have. 
this is, is where the cars leave the line. The arrow on the ground makes it look more like the entrance. What are you talking about? It's plainly an exit. Well, maybe it's both. Kind of a dual purpose. Ha <laughs> ha! The theory of relativity! What? Uh... I've gotta write this down. Ah, uh, hey, hey, Mr. Wright! Maybe you know. Was Mr. Relativity German, or was he British? I think he was German. Mr. Relativity, are you sure that was his name? Don't you need Einstein? That's what I'm saying, yeah, his name was, yeah it's German. Einstein. Sure. What? Sure. B blocks are here is where the park is. Park. I can see the lunch line car over there, far in the distance. Hey, you're right. I like to keep design on the door. I can see a cartoon cow munching down on a juicy looking steak. Doesn't that strike you as a little creepy? Just don't think too deeply about it and you'll be fine. What else am I missing? Is it just. Good Maybe? Yes. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> I like, I freaked out a bit and was like, uh, <laughs> What's this? Looks like some sort of letter. Look! Something's written on it! Like a letter would be. Or a note. You're right. Let's see. 6 7S 12 2. There's a name written on the paper above that. Goodman. Maybe it fell out of his pocket when he was killed. Well, so, what does it mean, Mr. Wright? How am I supposed to know? Note to self, for deductive reasoning, go to Edgeworth, not Wright. No, no, you don't, you go to a detective. Wright equals El Stupido. I'm sure Edgeworth wouldn't know what this means either. So, well, how are we doing, Mr. Wright? Horribly. It took for us forever to find that one piece of evidence. <laughs> it took us forever to find a piece of fucking paper. I guess we I guess we got some clues. We have an autopsy report and a note from the victim and a cell phone. So you think we'll be okay? Well, the only thing still bothering me is that Lana is confessing to the crime. She says she did it. No problem. I can guarantee that she's not the criminal. Oh, by the way, Emma? Yes. I know that song your phone I know that song Wait, what? Oh, okay. I know that song your phone plays when it rings. What? Oh, it's her cell phone. She was calling her? It's the Seal Samurai theme song, isn't it? That popular TV show for kids? <laughs> the phone that just rang wasn't mine. It was yours. At 518, just after the murder took place, your sister called you, didn't she, Emma? I... I'm sorry. Can you tell me what you talked about? I... She hung up right away. I see. Boom. A detective is murdered, and a suspect is the top prosecutor in the district. I've got a bad feeling about this. Like, maybe I still don't know everything that went on here. Who cares? It's time for the trial! I thought we could ask more questions about the note. Don't you mean the letter? The loat. The loot. The netter. The nutter. The nutter butters. Mm, nutter butters. <laughs> I like nutter butters. I like nut. February 23rd, 9.34 a.m. District Court Defendant Lobby Number 2. Why do I have to figure this out during trial? <laughs> How did the investigation go yesterday, Mr. Wright? Frankly, there are still a lot of gray areas. Or rather, the whole thing is one big gray area. Don't worry about me. No matter what the outcome. Yeah, I guess that's true. I, I guess since the character doesn't really give a shit if they die, it's not like I'm losing anything. I'm ready to accept my fate. But I do need to pay my, my rent, so... So... I guess that's on the line. I believe in you, sis. Mr. Wright, let me offer you a word of advice. Give up. A defense attorney should never believe their client. So you're saying that you don't want me to believe that you confessed? The defendant is called to trial because they are suspected of wrongdoing. 
Never forget that. Miss Sky, you... You remind me a lot of Mia. But there is one decisive difference between you and her. She's not an asshole. And that is... You're not a defense attorney. I believe it's almost time for the trial. Good luck, Mr. Wright. Don't get cheeky with me. <laughs> My first trial without a Faye helping me. No one's going to bail me out this time. No, wait, I still got spirit powers. I'll be alone here. So I'll have to discover the truth all by myself. Let's do it, Mr. Wright. I'll be with you the whole way. Faye February, and Sky. Nope, there's still nothing. District court room number nine. I'll see if there's a, there's a name pun. Like, I'll look it up. The court is now in session for the trial of Miss Lana Sky. The defense is ready, Your Honor. The prosecution has been ready for a while, Your Honor. <laughs> he looks like he's high. <laughs> like, every time he's here, he's just like, I smoked a doobie three minutes ago. It's time for the trial. <laughs> Need to get the edge off. You know, so now I'm just Miles. Worth. So now I'm just Miles Worth. <laughs> Edgeworth. I haven't been in court since Edgeworth's trial. It's been a while now. Ba -ba. Ba -ba. Ba I hope that personal feelings will not be a part of proceedings today, Mr. Wright. Sounds like you're projecting, Mr. Edgeworth. I will choose the path I think is right, regardless of what those around me might say. The judgment to be made here is in our hands, not those of anyone else's. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. Chief Prosecutor Lana Sky has committed an unpardonable crime. Unpardonable. Crime. I was gonna, yeah, I was gonna see. If you I missed that p entirely. Not only, not only this, but she was rash enough to commit it in the prosecutor's office lot. In my car! Do you know how long it's gonna take to get those bloodstains buffed out of the fucking leather? It's red. <laughs> <laughs> Not the leather. Wow, he's much more forceful in person. I suddenly feel like confessing to everything. I love you. However, she will now pay for her rashness with her life. There was a witness to her crime. A professional witness. Well then, call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> In respect to Phoenix Wright, I did not bribe this one. <laughs> but only, only this one. This one. <laughs> All of the rest of them will be bribed. And I'm saying that now so that no one gets mad later. <laughs> Fussies. <laughs> Fucking trying to make court interesting. In he may have tried to kill me, but Von Karma had a point. <laughs> My boss. <laughs> he is smart. He was undefeated for 40 years for a reason. The prosecution calls its first witness, Miss Angel Stark, to the stand. The cough-up queen. Mm -hmm. Haven't I seen you somewhere? You ordered the caviar lunch, right? Ho-ho! Caviar! I've never eaten caviar before! The judge is really wolfing me down. <laughs> And for you, I have a fiesta bowl. Uh, th thanks. Will the witness state her name and profession? And my bowl. Where's mine? And you, sir, did you order the fingerprint lunchbox? Fuck. It is too early for lunch. Your name and profession, please. Well, your honor, how does it taste? So this is why everyone raves about caviar. It's so tasty, it hurts! <laughs> the verdict for this lunch is guilty of, of being, being delicious! delicious. <laughs> I always thought caviar would taste like pickled tapioca. What the heck does tick <laughs> What's the heck does tapioca? <laughs> what the heck does pickled tapioca taste like? Name profession now. Lunchbox <laughs> now. Me! And the name is Angel Star. Don't go forgetting it. <laughs> you sound like a freaking the leprechaun. Boy. Or the Pillsbury. Yeah, no, that's, that's better, actually. I find myself running lunch land these days. 
Is that what you wanted me to say, Mr. Edgeworth? Very well, witness. Please describe the incident to us. The prosecution will wait! I'm not finished eating! Hurry it up. Hmm. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth. As you know, we usually call on the police to provide a description of the crime. Your Honor, as Mr. Edgeworth has said to the court, I am a professional. Ah, uh, huh. What exactly does that mean? Until two years ago, Miss Angel Starr was a special investigator with the police. She was a first-rate homicide detective. What? Miss Starr was a detective? Ah! Ah! I know who you are! Cough up! Cough up, Queen Angel Star, Your Honor! Long time no see. Cough up the dough. You owe me thirty dollars from fifteen years ago <laughs> that you have still yet to pay back. Cough it up. <laughs> Very well! You may continue with the des description, Miss Star. Just who is this lady? What is this trial? If I might have the court's attention over here. The parking lot at the prosecutor's office is divided into two blocks. Okay. A block is for the office prosecutor office personnel. B block is for visitors and clients. A chain divider separates the two blocks. I suppose that's to keep visitors from taking up prosecutors' faces, yes? Shouldn't you... Okay. What? The crime to take place by a car in the back of the A block in the car's trunk. The killer stabbed the victim with a knife and went to drive the body out. Unfortunately for her, there was a witness and the arrest was made on the spot. Is she still a detective? No. Oh. No. And who was this valiant witness? Why, it was me, Your Honor. Okay. Witness, did you see the very moment of the crime? Of course, Shadow. Immediately after that, I apprehended the chief prosecutor. Hmm. Seems to rather cut and dry, doesn't it? Well, Mr. Wright? Uh, I can't agree on principle, Your Honor. It seems that some poor losers are unwilling to accept the truth, Your Honor. She's, like, changed from, like, Spanish to French in the span <laughs> of five minutes. <laughs> Shall I proceed to crush what little hope they have remaining? <laughs> <laughs> if you can, then give them your worst, Miss Star. Wait, are they talking about me? Yeah, fuck you, Mr. Wright. I miss fun karma. I miss shredding bottles' his throat. Somehow I always knew they let this would come. That's a little suspicious. I was on my way to deliver a lunchbox to my boyfriend. Well, that's a something. Perhaps it was my finally own detective instincts working. Then through a wire fence. I saw the chief standing next to the garage car. <laughs> the three of the people was holding a knife in her hand. <laughs> <laughs> the chief what? <laughs> and then she grasps the pointy tip of the knife and told the detective Goodman's chest. <laughs> <laughs> Bring your lunch.
lunchbox to your boyfriend. How touching! Hmm. As you can see, there is no room for doubt. The key point of your testimony seems to be nothing other than... The point of the knife which you saw being stabbed into Detective Goodman. So... How does it feel to be so utterly crushed? I... I'm still thinking about that. It's merely a flesh wound, Mr. Wright. Then why isn't he back up? Very well, Mr. Wright. You may cross-examine the witness. But I'm only going to allow you to do it next time. On like Digimon. <laughs> if you liked the video, like it, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one. And hit that bell notification if you want to see what happens in this trial as soon as it, hap it gets put up. Check up in the icon for other trials that we've done. Um, make sure you follow me on Twitter, at the judge. Uh, make sure you join my judgy Discord server. And also make sure to donate to the courtroom if you, uh, if you are able to. The tip jar is on the way out. Question of the day. What rice bun do you like the most? Yeah. I like pork rice rolls. I as well like pork rice rolls, rice buns. Put that shit in the comments below. I'm Bottles. And I'm I mean, Phoenix I'm the judge. Wright. I'm the judge. What? And I'm Phoenix Wright. And we'll see you next time. Goodbye. Continue.